I'm pretty sure all of you guys have known about the LEGO Star Wars UCS set for later this year. Many of you guys know it's probably going to be UCS Razor Crest. And I'm going to list off the many reasons why it is more than likely that we're getting the set later in the year. The thing that is extremely disappointing is the god-awful Quill minifigure leak. I'll just throw a picture for you guys to look at it. You, you've probably already seen it, but... Yeah. It looks extremely bad. And I hope this is just a stretched-out picture of the minifigure. But at the same time, it doesn't look like it because the hand that is holding it isn't stretched out and the body of Quill isn't stretched out either. So, I am going to be so mad at LEGO for doing this because we already have a LEGO uh, Ugnaught mold for a head. And of course, they're not going to use it. But they reuse like other things that we don't need a reuse of. But of course, they don't reuse the thing that we need to reuse. It's not that hard. To make a simple Ugnaught mold, because they already have one. And it's... It's perfect. So, of course, they had to mess it up. And, uh, then the minifigs, like we already said, Quill is most likely gonna come in this set. And then, I would assume that the Mandalorian, and possibly the Season 1 armor, would show up, and not the Beskar, I would hope, because I'm pretty sure that minifigure only showed up in about two sets. And, of course, we need Grogu in this set, obviously. And... Possibly the Mithril. We haven't gotten this guy, and he's like one of the bad guys in Season 1 that the Mandalorian catches and freezes him in Carbonite, so we could possibly see him. I kind of like that character, and we, he only he didn't have that much screen time, but I still kind of like them, and I hope he shows up in the set. That would be really a really nice exclusive minifigure. Price point, also, $530. Uh, that is kind of what you would expect for a UCS Razor Crest. The Razor Crest is a really, like, beefy and huge ship, so... And then the sticker sheet. The sticker sheet looks the same as the, uh, Razor Crest that we got back in 2020. But this one actually has a UCS plaque sticker, which we see with every single UCS set, basically. So, um, it's really detailed. You can pretty much read every single word on it. It looks pretty legit, but at the same time... You have these stickers at the top of the picture here that kind of look like the exact same, unfortunately, from the $130 Razor Crest we got back in 2020. So, I'm kind of skeptical on this because it looks like it's the same sticker sheet, but they just added the UCS plaque sticker. So, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for all the info we have at this point. It's not much, but it's pretty much enough to, like, you know, say it's pretty much gonna happen. I don't really think it is official yet, but it is, there is, like, a 9 out of 10 chance that we are going to get this. So, let me know your thoughts about this Quill minifigure in the comments down below, and let me know your thoughts about this whole set kind of info that we have now. I appreciate you guys for watching till the end of this video. It makes my heart warm inside, and, uh... Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like the video if you did enjoy. And please do subscribe to t stay up to date with all of the latest LEGO Star Wars news and content. Bye for now.